Well, hello. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to another edition of That Railroad. We're here in my camper. We're heading back to the shop this morning. Hey, we got a few problems to deal with. We left camping this morning. Uh, the clamp on my jack beam won't come down right. And you got to hit it with a sledgehammer to get it to go down. So I got to fix that. Get back to the shop here. And the bigger problem is I got we got the regulator out in front of us, and uh, he's got a hot bearing on the uh, left-hand rear axle. So we're kind of lifting it in there, hoping we make it back in. We got about four miles to go, halfway there, where we started. Anyway, <laughs> always something. Always something interesting. Go out and try to do a job, and then you got to work on stuff. This is old equipment. I've uh, had bearings go bad on that regulator before in the past several times. It's an old machine. I believe we got it in 1996. We got a brand new bird shop. Anyway, yesterday we had the a lot of hand work to do, and uh, I gotta give a little flaw of gas here to get up, starting up the grade. Make the pound tunnel. Anyway, yesterday we had uh, four broken joint bars we found, fixed them, and there was a spot in the and tracked about seven, eight ties where the ties had gotten down. They were down about an inch, so we had to dip those up and uh, re-spike them. And today I went up there and tamped that. What we was doing out, I was going to do some more tamping, but uh, I had to clear up for the train. And uh, then my buddy tells me uh, we was in the siding and he would check the ferries. Uh, it's getting a little hot, so we're not going to take a chance to try to get this thing in here and get the mechanics to look at it. Could be a seal with bad leak and grease out. I don't know. We'll have to take a look at the Anyway, so I went up and tamped that spot yesterday that we uh, fixed yesterday. Then coming back in, we replaced about uh, 10 or 12 missing bolts that we had. One thing about 16 miles of jointed track, you got, always got work to do on your joints. Bolts break and come out all the time. It's the nature of jointed track. But we keep ahead of them. You gotta, about once every week, I go out and do a bolt run. A track inspection and a fixed bolt for the track inspection. Uh, this is bridge 12. And it goes over top of Whiteley Creek. So anyway, there you have it. Another day in the life of a railroader. And, uh, so we'll get things fixed up, we always do, and go from there. Alrighty, how about that? <laughs> Have a really good day. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. Well, this is what I told you won't come down. I have to, been hitting it here with the sledgehammer to get it to drop so what I got to do is drop it all the way down and it'll come out that's where the clamp is probably can't see that very well anyway and I've had this happen in the past and it gets boogered up this uh, piece in there gets boogered up drop that down then I'm gonna to have to grind the 
the edges on it. It's probably burnt or got some gunk on it or something. It's keeping that from uh, coming down when I need it, when I go to clamp. First, once I get it down, I'm all right. Normally, that uh, the valve there, that air valve controls, lets the air off the cylinder and drop, it'll drop on its own, but that's not happening, so. And they got a uh, big job with the regulator. They got the wheel off on the one side, the wheel went bad. It was uh, where the studs come through. The wheel was uh, walled out around the, all of the studs, so. And they're uh, check, checking the bearings on the regulator. They're gonna put new bearings on it too, on that rear wheel. All right, okay, there you have it, always something. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a really good day. There you go, they got the wheel off. The wheel was bad, it's all walled out there, where the studs go through, and they decided to take the hub apart. The axle. And they're going to put new bearings in it and a new seal in the project for today. We're going to have to wait on a wheel. Made in Mexico. This uh, whole regulator was made in Mexico when it was new. Got it up on the turntable a little bit and blocked, and there you have it. And number one locomotive last night developed a water leak. I don't know exactly where. I was on midnight shift. I wasn't here. So, anyway, they got it fixed, and it's ready to go back into service. So there you have it. That's a, that's a life in the day of a railroader. <laughs>